Hey, hi, Glenn here with the Gardens of Castle Rock and Schweitzer's Nursery and Landscaping. We are out at the site, right here at the site of one of our recent gardens that we're adding to the gardens. This is a two-part garden. Down there is a wildflower planting. We're going to be working on that in a bit. And this area right here is part of our woodland restoration. So the old farm field used to come all the way up to here, but we pushed that back and we're adding a woodland restoration because right over there is wedding in the woods. But what we're adding to this particular garden is this structure right here. It's called a hugel culter, hugel culter, a mound culture. A lot of times they're used for growing vegetables and farming. In this particular case, we're going to use it to enhance the woodland restoration. It's not a really crazy concept. You pack up a whole bunch of stuff, stuff being like branches and logs and twigs and high organic content, uh, grass clippings, leaves, all of that. And you put that all together and you cover it in dirt. As it breaks down, it releases nutrient, holds on to moisture. So this garden will be just like a woodland. So that's why it's a woodland restoration. But we're gonna be doing that. So I've been doing work here. We've got a lot of videos. We started this last fall and I'll show you a little bit of video of me hauling some of the, the trees and the branches in here and the grass clippings. And I had some old hay from a previous project that we put in here and we covered it with a whole bunch of twigs that came from a tree that we cut down. You don't have to just burn twigs and throw it away. Um, I've got our spring grass clippings going on here. We'll put some of that on here. And another cool thing is all the sawdust that we've been generating from all of the projects we've been doing, cutting the trees and milling and making stuff for the ceiling and mantles and all of that stuff. We're going to add the sawdust to this too. So it's a great way to keep things out of, uh, you know, the waste cycle. You can compost it. So it's like a kind of a fancy composting method here. But we're going to put it all into a garden, cover it with dirt, move a couple trees in, dead trees and live trees. That's going to be a cool part. But that's just kind of what we're doing here. Creating the hugel culture is part of a mm -hmm. woodland restoration. Let's look at a little bit of yeah. Let's look at a little bit of video of how we got to this point and putting it together, and then we'll come back and check it out to see where we are. All right, thought I'd give you a little pan of what it looked like before. Going to talk you through kind of the whole process that I have going here. We filmed this video over the course of a fall and the next spring, kind of getting it um, going. So there was a fair amount of vegetation already on the site that I was going to use. We weed whipped that down and took a little tractor mower and mulched all that into it. So now we're ready to start adding the base material. I had a very large cottonwood um, that I needed to take down, so it came down. So it was perfect timing to be doing a hugel culture for landscaping. Just about any wood would work if you're planning on like growing vegetables and using it kind of for the farming. Um, the, the cottonwood or a soft maple would work, and probably the best is fruit. Uh, fruit tree like apple wood that's on the bottom now there's some woods that you will not want to use if you're using it for farming um, some of the evergreen trees with all of the the sap that they have in there and maybe like a black walnut you wouldn't want to use that but if you're doing it for landscaping like we are you can use just about anything so you can see that the first layer of wood at the bottom so now I'm adding compost so over the years of doing landscaping i had a lot of yard waste that we collected and we composted out back so i was fortunate enough to have that on site so i could just bring that in all right fall it is time to do the last mowing of the season bagging it all up so the grass clippings are going on top of the the timbers and compost that i have there so just like as if you were composting in your backyard, you would want to use a mixture of the green and the brown uh, materials. So stuff that has a little bit of life in it, a little bit of moisture, because that's going to help start breaking things down. Kind of a nice end of a day watching the sun go by or sunset and the clouds go by. Um, but back at it the next day. Okay, so I did have some 
hay left over from a seeding project that had already started to decay. So that is just like awesome material to go into a hugel coulter right on top of that grass clipping. So we're introducing some of the, the uh, little guys in there, the organisms that are going to help break this all down and kind of turn it into there. Now every single little twig can go on this. That's the neat thing. Start with the big pieces on the bottom and then all the little stuff can go on. So it really is a great way to clean up a tree if you have the space to put one in for uh, landscaping. This uh, particular Google Coulter is going to get to be about six feet tall by the time I finish stacking and layering everything in there. Uh, the grapple works pretty good in, in piling that up. All right, so time for some friends to show up. Uh, good to know some friends. Oh, wait a minute. I think we're going to put some more compost. Friends will show up, trust me. Uh, a little another layer of compost on top of the material that we have there, and just it, it filters in and goes in and makes a nice mix of everything. All right, here's those friends. I knew they were coming. There we go. They are in the landscape business. They do lawn care maintenance and leaf pickup. So I was able to talk them into dumping all their leaves at my place, which is a great mulch. So the whole Hugo Coulter, once I'm done, will get covered in the oak leaves, uh, keep the weeds down, and then allow it so I can get some nice planting in there. All right. Um, it always takes a little bit to explain what I'm doing. I guess that's why I'm making a video about how to make a hugel coulter. Okay, um, where are we now? We're going to finish cleaning up branches, get the rest of the branches in there, and I think that's going to be pretty close for the fall. Yep, there we go. Now we're into spring. Um, we had put a whole layer of twigs on top of everything again. We were doing another mulching uh, or bagging of the spring grass clippings just to pull that first one up did a video about sawdust gonna put a card up there there it is the card about one thing you should never do with sawdust um, but with all of the milling and the projects that we have going here um, at the gardens there's a lot of sawdust around here so this is just an awesome uh, use of sawdust to mix it into the hugel coulter all right um, you'll see bucket after bucket after bucket of sawdust get in here um, if you've done a project like this or something similar or done a hugel coulter or permaculture and, and made a large uh, the structure like this leave me a comment down below if you see something that you would do different I'd love to hear about that too or just share some of your experiences um, in permaculture or building a hugel culture all right so here's all the rest of the sawdust from our mill site uh, from the log yard that's gonna get put on there and then I'm gonna start hauling uh, the compost soil mixture from our compost site in and this is going to be pretty much it for this first part of building a hugel culture. You can really see how I have it all piled up there. We'll start to layer uh, or just cover up the soil. I'm probably going to get a good solid foot, foot and a half of on there. So that's it. I have been Glenn with the Gardens of Castle Rock. Uh, making a large woodland restoration uh, project here across from Wedding in the Woods. And this is a Hugo Coulter, um, kind of a, for landscaping, not as much for gardening. I'm going to put native plants on top of this. That's about it. So make sure you follow, subscribe to the channel, and at some point shortly, I will get the next video about um, the rest of the grading and planting some of the stumps and just updating you. That's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.